What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So recently I've started playing CSGO and I have a MacBook Pro. It's that one right there behind me. So the problems with Macs is that they are not made for gaming and I've looked everywhere online and I can't find anything that tells you how to optimise a Mac for gaming. So I've figured a bit of it out myself and in today's video I'm going to be telling you how to best optimise your Mac for any type of game really, but more specifically CSGO. So without further ado, Let's get straight into it. So the first thing you're obviously going to want to do is download CSGO. Now I'm doing this through Steam, I don't know if there are any other ways to download it, but I'm sure it doesn't make that much of a difference. Now as soon as you load up the game, you're going to want to go straight to the video settings and fiddle around a bit. You're going to notice there aren't that many and for 16x9 there are actually no settings at all. But fiddle around until you feel what you've got is comfortable for the device you are using. Then go into some games and test out that FPS counter. In my first game, FPS was looking okay, around 56 to 40 FPS. However, the longer I played, the more the FPS began to drop, till it got to the point where I was getting drops down to 12 FPS, back up to 20, and then down to 8, and then maybe 30, and then possibly even 60, but then all the way back down again, which is just unacceptable. Knowing there was hardly any lower resolutions than what I was already at, I headed straight over to the Microsoft Windows 10 ISO page and downloaded the latest version. From here, I dragged it to my desktop and then launched Bootcamp Assistant. Now I only recommend boot camping if you have at least a 256GB drive. This is because you're going to have to partition your drive and if you only have a 128, you're going to be using most of it, which isn't good. Now before anyone squinnies out, I was actually very surprised by how easy it was to boot camp and I would definitely recommend it. Now that your Mac has restarted a few times, you should be able to boot into Windows by holding the Alt key while powering on your Mac. Now you will have to then set up Windows separately, but I've already done this, so mine boots straight into Windows. Now simply reinstall CSGO onto your Windows partition. One issue I had was with connecting my MX Master to the Windows side of my Mac. To solve this, I just plugged in the IR receiver, and now when I use the Windows side, I use the IR receiver. Now open up your Windows CSGO and go into the video settings. Straight away you're going to notice there are a lot more options including the option for 16x9 as well as many resolutions. I'm choosing 720p but feel free to choose any resolution you want depending on your device or your FPS preferences. One thing that I am going to say is that having all of your options on low is not always the best thing to do. Sometimes your device will actually run better on medium or even high quality or detail levels and I have no idea why, it just does. For some reason you will get better FPS with higher standards of quality or detail. I guess what I'm saying is don't be afraid to visit the video options quite a few times within a game and fiddle around to see what is best. Another thing that you're going to want to do is enable the developer console within the game settings. This is going to allow you to limit the FPS by using the input FPS underscore max space 60. What this is going to do is limit your FPS to 60 and will actually make your gameplay smoother overall. Bearing in mind we are now running at a higher resolution as well as the fact that I have limited the FPS to 60, we now get much smoother performance with only the occasional drop to 49 or 40 FPS which is much better than the 12 we were getting before. If this video has helped you guys out, please, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. But as always, thanks for watching and peace out.